I've regained, um, I've regained a sort of quality of life that I, that I, that I didn't have going into the surgery. Back in uh, 1978, I suffered a sports injury, uh, which resulted in my tearing uh, ligaments and tendons in my ankle and breaking my fibula. Um, you know, the, uh, the surgeon uh, back then sort of uh, fixed the, uh, the torn ligaments and tendons, uh, threw a cast on it. Um, it healed up. Um, I was fine until sort of I hit, you know, age 50 or so. At that point, I started to develop osteoarthritis and, you know, it uh, progressed to the point where it began to affect my daily life. Uh, you know, I had to give up playing tennis. I had to give up sort of running. Then I ultimately gave up skiing. Um, and then I kind of ended up pretty much in pain uh, every day and taking like a lot of a leave to, uh, to address the pain. Uh, it drove me to an orthopedist here in Concord, New Hampshire, um, probably when I was 56 years old, I would say. Uh, who took x-rays and said, you know, based on what he saw, um, uh, the only real sort of solution he could offer was a, an ankle fusion surgery. But ultimately would mean that uh, down the road, I would most likely develop uh, arthritis and problems in my knee and in my hip and so on. So he basically said, you know, kick the can down the road as, as, uh, as long as you can sort of tolerate the pain and then we'll do the ankle fusion surgery. Um, you know, this, this idea that I'd have to, uh, you know, the only option was to fuse my ankle uh, seemed like the wrong sort of thing to do, or I felt like there must be something else out there. I stumbled upon the work that uh, uh, was being done at the Limb Lengthening uh, Center. And, uh, you know, I sort of began to gather information about it. And it seemed to me to be kind of something that I should pursue. So I contacted the Fragman's office, set up an appointment uh, to get a consultation. The idea was that they were going to uh, break the tibia and the fibula um, and, uh, you know, realign the, the, the bones, I guess, the, I guess the, the fibula break caused a misalignment, which is what uh, contributed to or probably even caused the osteoarthritis. Um, and the idea was, let's distract the ankle, let's go ahead and fix, fix the misalignment, uh, go in and clean up all of the calcium deposits that had built up in my ankle. You know, I would uh, eventually sort of uh, heal and regain, uh, you know, use of my ankle. You know, when, you, when you sort of step back and look at it uh, um, logically, it seems like it's crazy, right? Um, um, so you're saying you're going to break both of my bones, you're going to drill pins and drive them through uh, my leg, you're going to attach them to some sort of external, you know, device and pull my ankle apart with a, with a bunch of screws. I mean, it sounded kind of crazy, really, if you think about it. I said, well, you know, just strictly from a scientific standpoint and a medical standpoint, it all makes sense. It's, it's, uh, it's engineering of the, of the highest order. I have to say that uh, the doctor's office was very, really, really helpful there, and the surgery was done in New York City. So, you know, that's a, it's a good four, an hour, four hour, four and a half hour drive. Um, which means that, you know, I couldn't sort of pop into the office if I had an issue and so on. So I very much took advantage of, of uh, technology and would, would email or, or, you know, or text. Uh, whenever I had issues, I could take a picture, I could email the picture, and I got a response pretty much either same day or next day to whatever my questions were. So I felt like I was being supported remotely uh, as, as things progressed in the, uh, in the process. Um, was take was getting x-rays done here, sending them into the office, and then, you know, having the x-rays reviewed, make sure everything was healing and going properly, and then having just like a, a quick email type of a consultation, and uh, that worked out really. At the end of that year and a half, I was starting to think, well, maybe, you know, it's really not going to work out. And then all of a sudden, kind of like a light switch went on, and, you know, the improvement began to be very dramatic and, 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 and 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 progressed and continued to progress. Now I'm five years into it, and I have to say that even this last year, I've seen and felt you know improvement in my in my ankle. So that's 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 all real. I'm sort of now at a at a, at, a, at a point where I'm able to, and I do walk two and a half three miles a day. Uh, I had to give up skiing, which I was very passionate about uh, in my 50s, and I've uh, gotten back into skiing. Uh, last year took a season's pass and 
was on the mountain 39 days, um, which which was just fantastic. Uh, able to stand for hours in the kitchen, cooking up gourmet meals is kind of a hobby of mine, uh, which I wasn't able to do uh, when when I had you know pre-surgery. So I've regained um, I've regained a sort of quality of life that I that I that I didn't have going into the surgery. So. Uh, very much worth it, uh, and very much helps me, you know, be you know much more optimistic about about the future and about my aging process, and and knowing that I could be a lot more active than I would otherwise have been, even with ankle fusion surgery, knowing that there would ultimately be complications there, and I wouldn't be able to ski with that. And there's you know walking, also would be an issue. I would have needed special shoes and so on and so forth. So, yeah, this is like 100% worth it. You know, it was uh, uh, a life-changing experience. I highly recommend it to anyone who uh, who's considering it. Um, and uh, you know, I'm only I, I just kind of hope that uh, uh, more hospitals uh, begin to offer this uh, to their patients and that and that you know orthopedists are, are kind of made aware uh, of this procedure so that they can refer patients who uh, may not want to sort of have their their ankles fused <laughs>